y'all i'm telling y'all right now the um the fomo is about to start uh pouring in it's going to start pouring in and am i going to be shocked no i'm not going to be shocked and the reason why i'm not going to be shocked is because um i have been talking about this for um i have been talking about this for a very long time now i've been talking about this since uh v1 all right i've been pointing out the trends on the charts uh, i've been making it simple for y'all to uh follow the trends all right uh even even before the market went on a pump because we know that before uh the market uh went on a pump the pump that it's having now which remains to be seen if it's official or not all right uh, i've been pointing this out i told y'all that we this was the route we was going uh, I told y'all that these were the trends right here. Even when there was a lot of food, people were making food videos. People were making uh, a lot of critics out there, a lot of uh, criticism out there. I've been talking about this, and here we are. Am I shocked to see this? No, I'm not. And the good thing about uh, the good thing about this situation right here is that uh, every time we get uh, a a hot market or the market heats up and gets a time um uh, any kind of boost the good thing is this uh, when the market comes down because the market is going to come down okay when the market comes down uh, say Tom is not going to fall as hard as uh, a lot of these uh, other projects out here they're not going to fall as hard as uh, a lot of projects which mean when say Tom will fall uh, they're going to fall uh, by a little bit and they're going to start consolidating okay so um say tom is going to benefit uh, regardless if the market is in an uptrend or a downtrend all right now uh the good thing about uh the good thing about uh say tama right now okay is that um or the good thing about the market right now is that um you know when we look at the overall economy okay when we look at the overall economy prices are going down uh i think they're supposed to have like a, a temporary at least for the gas prices i think for the gas prices they're supposed to have like uh, a three month uh, a temporary three month uh lower in the gas prices now um hopefully that stays uh uh hopefully that stays true and hopefully uh we can kind of uh get some um hopefully we can kind of hopefully it can kind of uh drag out longer than that okay because that will help help the economy uh, as we see it helps the economy and individuals are, now they feel comfortable putting more money back uh into the market but uh, one of the the unfortunate things for individuals right during the down times you had more individuals more investors taking out money uh than putting in money so now that we are going into uh this pump market right here you have individuals who've been uh, uh taking out money and short term flipping and all that they're not seeing the gains that um a lot of the long term holders uh, are seeing and i told y'all all right you do what y'all want to do but what works for me is long term uh holding okay um long term holding is going to win every single time uh like i told y'all the short term flippers and all of that they always going to start out in front but at the end of the day uh, you know, they're not going to cross the finish line. Long-term holders want to cross the finish line uh, uh, first. All right. But if we look at the uh, the state of the um, the crypto market, all right, we are up 3%, 3.8%. So that is actually good. We're over that $1 trillion uh, market cap. And uh, it remains to be seen how uh, long this will last, okay? Um, I'm hoping that it can last for a long time. Uh, for a good little while, okay, because nothing lasts a long time, not even a, a, a bull market, a permanent bull market, all right, but uh, we are up 3.8%, um, uh, all right, and we are inching closer and closer to that 4%, so that would be uh, a great high for us. Now, if we look at Bitcoin, what's interesting about Bitcoin is that Bitcoin has went from consolidating in that 19K to 20K range to uh, uh, down there in the 24 uh, K range. So, uh, for individuals, right, who uh, wanted to buy a Bitcoin at a low, at one of the, some of the all-time lows. I mean, individuals had their chance to buy it when it was at like 19K. All right, or, or at least add to add to their positions. Me myself, um, I do not really buy a Bitcoin because I think that my money can go elsewhere when it comes to uh, investing. Um, now, the interesting thing is, um, you know, uh, individuals had. Uh, a chance some individuals 
were able to probably buy whole Bitcoin, okay, at 19K. So for those individuals who bought at that low, okay, uh, congratulations. Now, we look, the, the most interesting thing is this right here. If we look at, at how Bitcoin is soaring right now, I would think that Ethereum, okay, would be uh, at around, um, at around close to 2k but they're not it seems like ethereum is kind of stalling it a little bit and you got to kind of uh, probably uh, expect this from ethereum because uh the thing is this you have to understand that ethereum is is, is uh not a fully holding uh crypto a, a lot of things uh ethereum is used for a lot of things such as transactions so you have more individuals pulling uh, money out of, of ethereum to buy other uh cryptos okay so uh, this is why Ethereum seems to be up and down. Okay, uh, in my opinion, Ethereum has not reached their um, their all time uh, high, which is um, they have. In my opinion, they have not reached a short term all time high, which is that 2K. I was expecting them to be there, but then again, like I said, when you think about it, Ethereum right now is is being put to work uh, in this market uh, because you also have a lot of FOMO that's going on from uh, a lot of uh, projects out here, not just with Saitama. When you look at Saitama, uh, uh, you have a lot of FOMO going on with Saitama also. The good thing about Saitama is this, they have the up up, uh, the up, the and the down markets working for them. They have the long-term holders uh, showing uh, a proven steady, okay? And, and they have the FOMO coming in. So that's what you're seeing here, a mixture of all of this right here, all right? So, uh, you know, with that said, you got projects like Saitama that uh, individuals are pouring Ethereum into. Uh, to buy, uh, uh, you know, more shares of those uh, projects right there. And if you look right here, uh, you know, you still got USDT, which is holding steady, which is actually uh, uh, shocking because you would expect USDT to be uh, fluctuating down, you know, during this, uh, this temporary bull market. And then we got XRP right here. Y'all know that I'm going to start doing more uh, videos on XRP. I um I did post some uh, two videos in my Patreon about XRP, uh, and those were actually some of the uh, videos <clears throat> earlier also that I had posted on. Uh, those were some videos also that I had posted on uh, YouTube for individuals who haven't seen my um, XRP videos. I do have two of them up there, uh, and then if you look at other projects like Solana, Doge, uh, Polkadot, Polygon, Avalanche, and uh, Sheep. All right, uh, Sheeb has actually been interested. I'm actually uh, interested in seeing uh, where Sheeb goes in this bull market. They are trending uh, kind of like in the mid range. They are trending in the mid range, but um, they still have uh, some ways to go. But uh, the market right now is on and up. I hope individuals, um, you know, had a good game plan while the market was down. And for the individuals that did, uh, congrats, you are now seeing those gains. So I wanted to make this video. Uh, so Tom is still, in my opinion, moving ahead of the market, even with Bitcoin at 24K. All right, we know they're moving uh, far ahead of Ethereum. All right, but um, I want to make this video. Remember, every now will be history tomorrow. All right, you either have patience in this crypto investing space or lose in the end. And this is my video. I will catch y'all on the up and up. Audi.